Pixit Streaming allows you to play your Unreal projects from any device that has a screen and connection to the internet. For example, on my left screen, I am running on a third-person template from Unreal. It is a packet one, so this is an executable. And let's try to control it from my web browser. So here we have it. I can control the exact same project from my web browser. And let's do it now from my phone. You can see I am controlling the project from my phone. Pretty cool, huh? Hello, my name is Pablo Cárdenas. I'm a technical artist at Lifelike and Believable Animation Design. And today I'm going to teach you how you can set up Pixel Streaming in any of your projects so they can be accessed anywhere in the world by only sharing the link. Let's start. So to create a new project, we're going to work on games for a moment, so let's go to games, and I want the third person one. Let's choose no starter content, and here you can see where you want to save it. So I'm going to make a new folder, it's going to call, I'm going to call it, oops, Excel streaming tutorial. And I'm going to call my project Pixel Streaming Dude. Now I hit create. And here we have it. So the first thing that we want to do is enable the Pixel Streaming plugin. So you go to Win, you go to Edit, Plugins. And here you can type Pixel. Here it is, Pixel Streaming. We enabled it. Yes. And we have to restart the project. Perfect. Now let's uh, set the project settings and preferences for Pixel Streaming. So let's go to Edit, Project Settings. And under Engine, let's go to Input. And let's find Mobile. Always show Touch Interface. This will help us to show the joysticks, so you can control this uh, with a phone or a tablet. And now go to Edit, Edit through Preferences, and under the Level Editor Play, let's go to our additional launch parameters here. Here we are gonna copy and paste Audio Mixer, Pixel Streaming Local Host, and Pixel Streaming Port 888. All this, you can find this in your real documentation, but don't worry, I'm going to paste this in the video description. This is because with this we're going to have audio, and you are gonna, we're telling Pixel Streaming that this is the port that we want you to use. So now, with that being said, we need to have our Visual Studio libraries. So for that, let's type uh, remove. So let's go to add or remove programs. And here, we look for Visual Studio. Left click and modify. There's a message on the screen that says that, do you allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. And here it is, the Visual Studio Installer. There are a couple things you need to install for this. Um, in the workloads, the game development with C++, you're gonna take this, and then you have to go to the individual components and find the latest .NET SDK. In my case, it's the .NET Framework 4.8 SDK. So you click this. And here you will have a button that says Modify. So you click on that. And after it is installed, it's going to ask you to 
restart your computer. So we are gonna do that. And you also need to have installed the Node.js. So for that, you need to get your web browser, paste this link, node.js.org, en download. I'm gonna paste also this link in the description. So you're gonna get a Windows installer. Now that we have it downloaded, we can open it. Okay, let's start with the setup. So we go next, we accept the license, we choose the path where we want it to install, and then do next. Yeah, we want it all, and then you hit install. I have already installed, so I'm not going to do this. Okay, so now that we have all of this, let's go to File, Package Project, Windows 64. And let's choose where do we want it to be saved. So remember, I did a folder, Pixel Streaming Tutorial. I want it here. I'm going to make another folder. It's going to be Package V1. Uh, select folder. Now in reality is when you start compiling. It will take a while. I don't know, maybe half an hour. And um, now what we gotta do is um edit this executable to call some required properties. For this we can do right click create shortcut and this shortcut let's go to properties under the shortcut tab in the target we are going to paste the exact same commands we pasted before so this I'm gonna leave this in the description as well so don't worry oh only three eights there are four eights yeah four eights and apply okay this ever happened to me the first time and I didn't know what it is. But it's because I don't have any space right after, right before audio mixer. You need to put any space and apply. Okay. So now it works. And this will allow you to have your audio stream and you can have the executable running in the background if we add another command that is rendered off screen. We can add it right now too. So after this space, render off screen. Apply. Okay. Now let's configure the pixel streaming server. For this, we have to go to where we have installed our engine. So I have it right here, UE4.26. And let's go to engine source programs and here we have pixel streaming so we copy this oh sorry about that and we paste it into our package folder we paste it right over here so we go to the signal web server and this stat AWS we turn signal in server is where we need to edit. So there are chances that we screw this code. So we're gonna make a copy and just call it backup. Just in case. And now we're gonna open this with Notepad. Here we have to edit two things. We have to add a stun server, and here we have to add our public IP. So let's go to the stun first. 
I'm gonna leave you a link for my GitHub. I forget these ones that we can use that are from Google. So we can use any of these. Let's copy the second one, for example. And let's paste that right over here. And now here we have to put our public IP. For that, we're going to go to Windows, CMD. And here we're going to type a command, ipconfig. This is going to give our IP address. So we need the one that is under IPv4. And let's save this. The file format is .ps1. So yeah, replace it. It is read only. Okay, so what we can do is .ps1. Just change the name. So we're two. And we're going to delete the principal because it is only readable and not writable. And now we can delete it too because we're going to run this batch file and this batch file is going to look for this specific name. So now let's run this batch file. This one is basically our pixel streaming server. And we are connected. That's right. Now we can actually test pixel streaming right now with a computer or any device that is connected into the same network. So for this, we can do it in the editor or with executable. Let's do this time with the editor. For that, we have to run it in the standalone game. And here it is. So, okay, I'm gonna put it like in this corner. Let's go to the browser. And here we have to write our IP. And we can test it. Something that I noticed is that when you run it from the editor, it is very pixelated. But if you run it from a packed executable, it looks very sharp, like exactly as in the executable. So now you, we know that PC streaming is working in our local network. Next step, let's make it work from anywhere around the world outside our network. For that, we're going to use a little guy, not little guy, <laughs> we're going to use this program. It's called ngrok. I'm going to also leave this link in the description. It's this one, ngrok.com. Here, you're going to sign up, make your account. For the moment, I already did that, so I'm just going to log in. I link that with my GitHub account. Okay. So here we are. Now, what you need to do is you need to copy this uh, from the Connect Your Account app. You're going to copy this. And you're going to download Ngrok for Windows. Once downloaded, we are going to copy this folder and let's paste it into our Windows No Editor. Let's extract it. 
and it is basically an executable so we can delete this folder and let's open ngrok for the very first time i have already authenticated mine but you will have to paste here this command here no this is not ngrok this is ngrok so here we have to you have to paste that command and hit enter. That will give you access to your account and then you will see like the exact same thing that I'm seeing right now. So Pixel Streaming uses the port 80. So we are gonna hit the next command that is gonna be ngrok http 80. And that's gonna give me a server online. Now we can copy this link. Oh, don't worry. Um, I mean, I'm sorry. I did Control C twice, and that happens when you do Control C twice in Angular Console. It's weird. But don't worry. You can do this again. So, Angular HTTP 80. And now I am connecting. Oh, I see. It's because there's control C to quit. Wow, I hate them. So make sure you just hit control C once, not twice. And now we can run now from our packed. So it's running on my second screen. And what we can do is remember we copy this link. We're gonna open a new tab, paste that link. Click start, hit play, and here we are. So now I can access to this from my phone without being connected on the same network. I just need to have this link on my phone. So I copy that over here. Click start. Oh, it failed. Click start again. And now it's working. So I can control my scene now. Here we can see there's another player. I can actually kick him. I'm gonna kick myself. Bye. <laughs> okay. So that's it. I hope you guys have fun with Pixel Streaming. And let's see you in the next video. Be safe. Bye.